In addition to identifying famous forgers, historians have also endeavored to pinpoint those painters most commonly counterfeited. The names on such lists vary, but there is one name almost universally cited, the French painter Jean-Baptiste Camille Corot. Corot began his career at 26, and his reputation grew steadily from that point on. By his mid-50s, he was a major figure in the Barbizon School, exhibiting regularly at the Salon in Paris. This work, now housed in the Metropolitan Museum of Art, is one of his earlier pictures. It appeared in an 1835 exhibition and highlights the arid landscape that would become one of the artist's signature images. His later pictures also illustrate why young Impressionist painters like Degas and Pissarro so admired his work. Throughout his lifetime, Corot was held in great esteem as a man as well as an artist. Art historian Ian Chilvers notes, He had a noble, generous, almost saintly nature, and was completely unspoiled by his success. Some have cited this generosity as one reason for the proliferation of Corot forgeries. In a 2015 Art News article on the 10 Most Faked Artists, Milton Estero writes, Corot sometimes authorized poor artists who imitated him to put his name on their paintings so that they would be easier to sell. So how many Corot fakes are out there? How many Corots by Corot? According to the experts, plenty in each category, but nobody really knows for sure. Thank <laughs> you.